Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. I want to speak with you guys about some market movements tonight that are going to happen through Squad Battle Rewards. Monday morning, Sunday night, whenever it is for you guys, whatever time zone. Squad Battle Rewards is a uh, time on the market where a lot of packs are opened, and it's a very popular time where people try to make coins because a lot of packs are opened. It's late at night. Most people open their packs, list their stuff up, go to bed. And then some people wait until open till the morning, but a lot of people open their packs when it comes out. And then there's this phenomenon called squad uh, battle rewards bidding, where you're able to bid on a lot of players because there's less competition on the market and you get some really good deals. Um, so I want to talk with you guys about that this week and possibly a new way that we can uh, kind of like a little bit of Thursday flipping type of thing, but uh, basically call it a Sunday night flipping, I guess. I don't know. Like we'll be buying after squad battle rewards and then selling on like Tuesday or Wednesday when the market has time to rise up because I want to talk about some of the stuff that happened this last week and then also talk with you guys about how you can make coins in this period uh, by bidding on players and what players to look for um, during the squad battle rewards period. So I want to talk a little bit about last week. Last week with squad battle rewards, basically what happened was um, we know that this is going to put a lot of supply on the market. We know that it's going to add a lot of players on the market in terms of Packs are being opened, so that just means supply is coming, pr prices are going to drop, um, but mostly we focus on SBC areas um, and maybe some inform investing as well in that time frame. But last week, the market really dipped down in terms of the gold market and the lower rated players and across the market as well. Sunday night last week was the lowest point um, in the market that we had seen in that week. Sunday market, Sunday night was the low point. And basically what happened after that was the market went up into Wednesday until we got another SBC that was a very cheap, it was like that, it was that Volta football SBC, I think is what we got on like Wednesday. Maybe, maybe it wasn't the Volta football, that came on Thursday maybe? Yeah, this, this one came on Thursday. It was a strong start SBC that came on Wednesday of this week that made the market go back down. Um, but before that, everything rose kind of back up. So again, this Sunday night, I think it's going to be an opportunity where we see the market go low. We're going to be able to bid, maybe some snipes as well, get in on some players that we can then hold until Tuesday, maybe Wednesday, depending on how long you want to hold and how fast the cards go up and possibly kind of do like an, uh, a secondary version of Thursday flipping, call it Sunday flipping, I guess. Sunday flipping, we kind of sell like Tuesday and Wednesday. Um, it doesn't seem like there's any big time content coming this week, probably some SBCs from EA, but that is going to be something that I think I try to do on Sunday night. Regardless, if you're looking to buy some informs on it, get some on bid, invest in some of those cards, invest in high rated golds, upgrade your squad, Sunday night's going to be a great time to do that. Compiled with squad battle rewards and the end of the weekend league, so weekend league sell off, people selling their teams, that's going to be a great time to get on the market and bid on a lot of players. Now, this graph that you're going to see on Footbin is actually from today. This is what happened today when they released the four-part SBC called Born Legends. The market went down a ton today because they made that SBC very cheap. And of course, people love getting free packs and doing SBC. So that brought a lot of supply on the market because a lot of packs were opened. This is the kind of drop that you see on a Sunday night with squad battles. Maybe not this, this drastic, um, but it's definitely a pretty sizable drop and then a rise up out of that into the next couple of days. So this is the kind of stuff that you think you're, that I think you're going to see tonight on squad battles. Now, where do you want to focus your coins? If you're on a low budget, this is something that um, I always look into every week. It's a way to make literally a ton of coins on a low budget. If you're somebody who's under 100,000 coins, you're going to want, want to be focusing on uh, SBC fodder, SBC requirements. I guess not really SBC fodder, but find yourself some SBC requirements that are overpriced and get those on bid. Try to find some areas where other people aren't looking. Like right now, the first area that comes to mind for overpriced SBC requirements would be interplayers. Because of that SBC, the Born Legends SBC, interplayers are going for around 4,000 coins at the moment. Probably tomorrow night during Squad Battle Rewards, you might see these guys dip down to like 2.5 to 2,000 coins. People getting them on bids for like 1K to 2K, and they will probably rise back up a little bit above that as there is a lot of demand uh, for this SBC. So that's one way that you can trade with rewards. Um, find cards that are inflated because, uh, like, another good option would be gold Argentinian left backs. 
that category right there would be a great snipe. That's been a popular filter that a lot of people try to snipe for the past couple of weeks. And if you just find basically some players that are expensive because they're needed for league SBC, not league SBCs, advanced SBCs, it just seems so natural to say league SBCs, but we don't have those yet. But for advanced SBCs like Hybrid Nations, Hybrid Leagues, National Pride, and League and Nation Hybrid, there's a lot of players that are still overpriced as people are doing SBC accounts and getting onto FIFA and gradually completing these SBCs. The best way to find some of these players would be to go into Footbin, would be go into Footbin, click on the Advanced SBCs tab, go into, let's say, League and Nation Hybrid, and basically look at the solutions on these SBCs uh, let's say we're going to pick the Puzzle Master because it requires the, I think this one requires loyalty, um, which is a little bit of something we might not want. But uh, you want to look for more expensive ones because that means people have to pay a little bit more for it and some of those prices might be inflated. So here's one we have right here, 8,000 coins, cheap 8.5k. Um, maybe some of these guys, you can see Lovren's 800 coins. So you maybe look through this list and find some people that are non-rares especially uh, are the best. Um, or you can just go to the players, FIFA 20 players, and sort by version non-rare gold. Uh, non-rare gold, yes, we want non-rares. Version gold non-rare. And then you can use this over here, the, the PS drop-down, or if you're on Xbox, it'll say Xbox. And then sort for like uh, non-rare golds that are like 1,000 to 5,000 coins. And those are the kind of cards that you can look to bid on on a Sunday night uh, when these cards get packed a lot, because Squad Battle Rewards packs aren't anything super duper incredible. I mean, they're good, but it's not like a ton of uh, 100k packs and 50k packs are being opened. A lot of the rewards, uh, even for like Elite 3, what do you get? You get a premium gold players pack. So that's a 25k pack where you have a lot of non-rares. A mega pack, there's non-rares in a mega pack. Um, prime mixed players pack, again, there's non-rares. Premium gold players pack, non-rares in there. So non-rares get packed the most on a night like this, and that's why the SBC fodder on a low budget is a very, very good pickup. Now, I want to focus on people that have maybe a little bit more coins, kind of in the range that I'm going to be at. You see me right here with 410,000 coins. I'll hopefully have somewhere around 500K, maybe a little bit more Sunday night, tomorrow night, um, to open some of these, these packs up and watch the market change. I'm going to be focusing on some higher-rated meta cards and possibly some informs as well. So basically what I do to find out um, which cards are going to be very good for picking up on Sunday nights that are higher in meta cards, I basically go and look at um, the PGP graphs on Footbin, the player game performance. This is a tab on Footbin players down to PGP. And I go in here and I look at some of these players and I have to do a little bit of thinking because a lot of these guys, I sort by games to find out the most popular players. But a lot of these guys, people are starting to graduate from. People are starting to not play with maybe a guy like, let me find a good example, maybe a guy like Gabriel Jesus. People are starting to sell that card and they're moving up from Gabriel Jesus, maybe to a guy like Lacazette, maybe to a guy like Sun, that'd be a pretty big jump, maybe a Bami Yang. Um, they're moving from maybe that 20K range for a player, maybe they're doubling that range, they're 50, 60, 70,000 coins or above, and they're able to upgrade their teams. That's why on Thursday, for Thursday flipping, you saw a lot of players that were higher rated go up more, like, uh, not Lucas, um, we're gonna go with Firmino. Uh, Roberto Firmino was around 99,000 coins, I believe, on Wednesday evening, yeah, right here. He was on 99,000 coins on Sunday. He rose up into Wednesday. It says he was 104K on Wednesday. There was actually a lot of panic Wednesday for the SBCs after that uh, strong start SBC came out. And then boom, he peaked at 107 on Thursday and Friday. I know for a fact that he was actually higher than that on Thursday morning before they put out another SBC. Um, but as you can see, the market right now is very low. Uh, Ericsson it is another card that I like to look at. The cards that you're gonna wanna look to get on bid and look to get on snipes during this period of Sunday night are gonna be cards that people are gonna be beginning to upgrade to in their teams. So we're looking at cards that are 85 rated and above that are very solid and they're upgrades over current players. So maybe a guy like a Sterling could be a pretty good example. Uh, Erickson would be a good center mid or a center attacking mid upgrade for a Premier League team. Sterling at 136K, he's one of the top right wings in the Premier League, that's a popular card. You know, guards that are probably in that like 40, 50, 60 to 100K range, 
if you're on the higher budget, even some higher rate range cards than that are going to be the way to look on uh, Sunday night. And the best way to look at those cards is going to be to go to index gold. So you're going to go market drop down to index gold and you're going to see the market do this for about an hour or two hours, maybe about an hour or so on Sunday night. And then you're going to start to see it kind of level out and start to go back up. The best place to look though is down here in the PlayStation 4 top down. These are the top up and top down cards. This really gives you a picture of which cards are getting hit right away in the panic. This is a guy I would highly recommend looking at on Sunday night. Hugo Loris. He went from 33k last Sunday night all the way up to 37k on Tuesday. You buy a card, maybe you try him out on your team for a couple days, and uh, boom, you make uh, 4,000 coins a card in that short time frame. Uh, that's that's decently solid. I could see cards going even higher this week though. With the SBCs that EA has put out, people are getting more and more coins from rewards and stuff. I could see that going higher. But this is a very popular card as the best center backs in the game right now are French. And you got to link him somehow, right? He links to a guy like Laporte. And he'll also help with links to Varane, to um, Umtiti, or to Lucas Hernandez as well. Uh, Timo Werner is an interesting one for my, in my opinion. He's like the top Bundesliga striker in terms of a fast option. You, it's Lewandowski and then Timo Werner. Lewandowski obviously has the great finishing stats, but look at how Timo's price has been affected by the pack weight today. 83 rated, he's down a decent amount. He'll probably get hit hard Sunday night, but he did last week as well. He was 49K, jumped up to 51. That's not a huge rise, uh, but it's a decent one. That's a decent rise right there. And then you just got to look at some of these other cards as well. You can look at some of the rises on last week and realize, hey, this might be a card that real that rises amount a good amount this week as well. Last week, Sissoko was 42K. He boomed up to 48. That could be a good shout for this week, although a very popular card again. Um, Alexandro, this would be a card I would be interested in as well, down to 83K. Last week, he didn't move too much, um, but he is a the top left back in the Serie A, and there's some Serie A informs this week. That could help out his price. What about Serge Gnabry? What did he do last week? 35K and he kind of stayed the same. So that's why you want to be careful with these lower rated cards. The lower rated cards you kind of want to, you're going to want to be a little bit more careful with. Although there are some lower rated cards where the hype just outperforms the supply. I mean, there's so much hype for a card like this Rashford. Um, 81,000 coins, he jumped up to 86K in two days from Sunday into some Sunday night, Monday morning into Tuesday. Um, so that's where I would look. This could be a decent investment as well. This is still a card that a lot of people are upgrading to, although it is 83 rated. And then some other cards that you might want to look for on the market would be like a, a guy like uh, Ling Lei. A lot of people are using this Ling Lei card. Some pros are using him. But it's also a card that you're starting to see people upgrade into their teams with. The man was 88K last week. He went to 112K this weekend, but in that two-day time span up to Wednesday or Tuesday, he went up 10,000 coins. So players in rare positions, outside backs, center backs from popular, nation, popular nations and good leagues, the higher rated stuff, that's where I think you're going to want to focus your coins this week. Meta, high rated, and OP meta in-game. If you hear about stuff, I think I just said meta twice. I think I just said meta twice. But if you're hearing about cards that are very good in-game, those could be some cards that you look at uh, this week with the squad battle rewards. Again, squad battles, get your games in. There's going to be a lot of people that are playing squad battles because of the icon objectives. For the next couple of weeks, honestly for the next couple of months, as the icon swap single player objectives are out, people are going to be playing icons, uh, people are going to be playing squad battles to get the icon swaps objectives. That's going to see more people. You're probably going to see the rankings for squad battles go up with more people playing because some people absolutely hate this game mode and the grind that it is playing against the CPU. But you're probably going to see some of these rank numbers go up. So if you want to check like last week's rank on squad battles, how many points it will take to get Elite 3 or whatever, you can go over here, I think, to, yeah, foot squad battles right there on Footbin. I'm telling you guys, Footbin has it all, all right? You can click on previous week. And then go down and uh, look at the, the points that you needed and uh, kind of compare it um, as we're coming down to the wire tomorrow night on Sunday night, looking at um, where the points are at as well, knowing where you're going to need to be to hit a certain rank on squad battle. So that's how you guys can make a lot of coins. Again, I think the buy time is late Sunday night. 
You're gonna to wanna to focus on those meta cards if you're in a high range, and SBC cards if you're in a low range type of budget. There's gonna be plenty of ways to make coins. Basically, if you're on the market an hour after rewards, just start bidding on literally anything and everything you can see. It'd be a good time to do a club stock for possible SBCs that could come out in the next week as well. So 83s, 84s, 85. Get some of the cheapest ones with good links. Chuck them in your club. We might get some more flash flashbacks. We could get some more player of the months. I know the League One player of the month could be coming. The Bundesliga player of the month could be coming soon. I don't know about the vote. The vote for that has actually been out. So we could see Bundesliga player of the month soon. Lewandowski has 12 days remaining. Um, Puki is still there to complete as well, and so is Joseph Martinez. So we should see some more SBCs possibly this week. So that could be a good time to club stock and maybe look at some future SBC requirements as well. And even some people that invest for marquee matchups look that early in the week. So that's just something to keep in your mind as well. But there's tons of ways to make coins on Sunday nights. The Sunday night flipping, I think that's what we're going to call it. We're going to be flipping on uh, multiple days of the week. We're always going to be flipping in FIFA nowadays. Always going to be flipping with all these SBCs they're releasing and with the packs that they're releasing and stuff like that. So make sure you play your squad battles and make sure to tune into my live stream on twitch.tv backslash the foot accountant. Link is down below in the description. I will be live streaming rewards and picking up bids on the market as well during the squad battles rewards time frame on FIFA. So if you enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you are new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.